Hey guys, so it's a nice hot day. I'm in the truck and I thought while while it's out I'm moving a bunch of my stuff. So while it's out, might as well show you the Bendix. Here's a little sneak peek. This thing is a long-term project. So uh, yeah, it's I'll make real videos about this eventually. Anyway, the Bendix G15. This one is a late one because it uh, has a control data tag on it. Control data bought Bendix, uh, at least the computer division of Bendix. The G15 is a small, and I mean small, vacuum tube based computer. It's got uh, 350 some odd tubes, only three types, um, but uh, it does a lot. It's a drum based machine. They're uh, from late 50s. This is, I think, one of the later production ones for All for One. It's tagged uh, as a control data. You can see it's terrible. It is in horrible, horrible shape. Uh, yeah, take a guess at what all that's, that white stuff is. What's white and comes out of the back end of birds? And as you can see, pretty bad here. The drum is damaged. I may have to get a new drum. God, that's going to be fun to find. Uh, it's interesting. It's built like a book. You can see some of the diode modules. I stuck some plastic in there so uh, they wouldn't shake out. Um, I think I have all the modules now. I took out the tube modules. They, they fit there. Uh, there are circuit board modules, though, you can see. Yeah, some uh, gold guy, before I got it, some gold guy came in to see, uh, see what, do an assay on the machine, and he found out that there's almost no gold in this machine. Really didn't have it in the vacuum tube days because, well, you know, the high voltage is involved. So yeah, there's the paper tape reader, the uh, panel. There's uh, the tape drives are also in pretty bad shape. That one's still in plastic. That may be the best one. This is, this is typical. Look at the paint on this. It's just coming right off. Uh, this was found in California. And, uh, yeah, the, the weather was kind of harsh. Kind of harsh. It baked a bit. So, yeah, these things are going to need a lot of help. Let's open the door. And, yes, tubes. Tubes and tape drives as well. Actually, I have three of these MTA2 drives. One I already unloaded from the truck. I also have the console, which is uh, just a modified typewriter. Uh, that's also been unloaded already. That believe it or not, is in pretty good shape. I don't know why. So, yep, there we go. Um, just thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek. And if you want to know what this is here, this is an old, just pre-World War II uh, radio transmitter called a TBL. This is a TBL-5. Yeah, I suppose I'll make a, 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 a video on it one day. Yeah, I love these things. Good old Frankenstein look. But anyway, Bendix. Bendix Blue. Yeah, that's going to be another thing. Where am I going to get wrinkle paint in that shade? That's going to be tough. Because you can see, <laughs> it just it just comes right off. There's, there's nothing holding this paint on. So it's going to be a complete strip drop. All right. Well, uh, well, I hope you hope you like what you see. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I, I guess I'm seeing through the dirt on this one. Uh, but you know, you find something like this, you kind of don't complain about the condition. So anyway, leave a like if you like, or subscribe. Yeah, I actually do both. See you later.